No key, hit it. Put to the floor. <laughs> that seems to have done something. Yes, it has. Man, I'm tired of blowing. The airbox is upside down. Now right, let's give it a try. You want to keep going? We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Hey there, fellows! Alright, so in today's video, we're up to our usual experiments. This car has been featured in a bunch of our previous videos, it has been subject to some prep, and the engine runs like clockwork. It has been rebuilt, tuned, it runs very well, and the last thing we want to do is to kill it right away. Here's what I'd like to try. We've driven this car, of course, the engine runs and pulls great, but while being parked outside for a little while, a bunch of dust has found its way into the engine bay, and as a result, the carburetor is filthy as. Admittedly, we aren't running a proper filter on this one. Instead, we have some sort of empty Moskvich shroud thing. Anyway, here's the idea. I've paid some buddies of mine a visit, or a local to Novosibirsk, and they've given me this. These are four motorcycle carburetors. And so now the stock one is gonna be on its way out. Instead, we'll be running four Japanese carbies, which should make for some seriously impressive acceleration. Now, of course, we haven't dynoed this engine in its current form, but it shouldn't be too hard to feel it out. We're all very familiar with the capabilities of a well-tuned Lada engine. And we have an especially keen sense for when the engine has run its course. Okay, now it's time to pull stuff apart, do some cutting, weld a new intake, fit the carburetors, and then we start the car and go for a spin. Let's do this. We fit four motorcycle carburetors to a lot of them, originally uploaded in 2018, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Things are looking excellent. As you can see, the four carburetors are in position. We still have a bit of work to do, but it's all minor. And now we're gonna try starting it. It runs! This Lada engine runs very well. It's maintaining a smooth, healthy idle. I mean, never in its life has it run so perfectly on the factory carburetor, as it does now on these four motorcycle carbies. It revs up wonderfully. This is very nice. Yeah, this is lovely, I mean... Why did it never come like this from the factory? 
That said, we still can't quite figure out the tuning. The problem is, well, none of us have any experience with motorcycles. Well, at least of this type. The issue is, they don't really work until you blow into them. Who wants to blow? Oh, here comes Cyril. Go for it. That was scary. Oh, the belt flew off. Even the belt evacuated. Far out. Holy cow. Did you see that? The revs jumped to 8,000 plus. And did so with ease. We gotta figure out how this system works. And set up something to blow air into these. To ensure the engine gets up to at least... Well, 8 seems a bit dangerous, though I'm sure it can take it after the rebuild. I guess we'll aim for 7. Right, we'll try and figure this out. We have a strong urge to... We still have to order a limited slip diff, but until we do... Let's weld this one up and go tear it up somewhere. Alright, let's see what comes out of this. Okay, fellas, we're at the test track. The weather is beautiful today. The temperature is like minus 26, but whatever. Anyway, so check this out. We fitted the carbies. Everything is looking good. And you might have noticed that the air cleaner box is upside down. It's just all positioned differently on a motorcycle. As for that little tube... Actually, there are two of them. You blow a bit of air into it, and the engine revs its nuts off, going all the way to 8 grand. Honestly, we could not figure out what that is. Leave a comment if you know what's going on there. So here is what we've decided to do. The revs climb nicely even when you blow just a little bit. And given that this is a lot, look at the system we've devised. Now over there we have... A vent that blows air onto the windshield. We found a bottle that was just the right size, which we fitted to it and sealed with some electrical tape. The other vent we blocked off with a bit of scotch tape, and so now that one is getting all the air. We've already tried turning it on. Works all right. When the fan is on full, the engine goes all the way up to seven and a half to eight grand. No sweat. All right, let's see what came out of our efforts. I am super curious to find out. Okay, we're ready. The engine is warmed up. Time to head out. Oh my, these need some tuning. The engine doesn't want to pull at all. Right, let's switch on the fan. The front wheels are refusing to grip. Try that again. Come on! Doesn't want to accelerate. Here's the situation, guys. Either the fuel pump isn't up to it, or, well, even if the carburetors aren't in tune, the engine would pull regardless. I mean, it does pull up until a point, but once it gets up to, like, about three grand, the revs then jump to about six, and from there... I don't know, it's only able to keep it up for about four to five seconds, at which point it falls flat onto its face. Then I have to press the clutch in and wait for it to rev up again. I see Ivan wants to try it out. Are you gonna drive it? 
I'm interested to hear what you have to say about how it drives. I reckon we just don't have enough fuel. Yeah, we need to think of something. I mean, even when we turn on that makeshift float chamber purge system of ours... Yeah, let's just see what happens. Ivan also wasn't impressed with how it pulls. Doesn't want to rev up. So we're gonna try what we did back in the garage. I'll be sitting next to him and... purging the float chamber myself. Let's see what comes out of that, shall we? I just need to remove this. Give it some gas. There, see that? Okay, hit it. Put to the floor. But you can't have two people in the car at a race. That seems to have done something. Yes, it has. What is going on here? Man, I'm tired of blowing. Let's try that again. What is happening here, guys? How does any of this even work? I mean, yeah, the airbox is upside down. But can that actually have such a pronounced effect? Okay, fellas, we have just tested the motorcycle carbies, and the system leaves a lot to be desired. A couple of words about that magical tube of ours. When you blow into it even slightly, the car goes into full beast mode. You got wheel spin and everything. But then none of us can blow into it for very long. Of course, even a tiny bit is enough to get the engine going, for it to rev nicely and pull hard, but it quickly runs out of steam. Perhaps we need to try a different set of carburetors, or an engine that either has more or less displacement. Anyway, we'll do some research, but overall this was a success, the car started and it even ran pretty well. That concludes the experiment, it was a tremendous success. Watch us, subscribe, comment, like. Alright, catch you later.